Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier Mary. I'm going to do a voiceover of how it all began, a section from the documentary on Garibandal. It's a great documentary with some really beautiful footage of the days of the apparitions. And then I'll give a little commentary at the end. The village today is nothing like it was back then. There were lots of rocks and stones, puddles, uneven terrain. It was difficult to walk through the town back then. Some people ask me, did you go to school back then? And I tell them I hardly went to school. My work was mainly chasing behind sheep. When it snowed and we couldn't go to the field to work, we went to school. It was like a special occasion for us. Almost all the work was with livestock, cows, horses, sheep. Since everyone was working in the field, the first one that finished putting the hay in the store, then you went to help the one that was still doing his work. That's how it was back then. That's how we worked. Everyone in the, ta in the town, in the village, uh, in the kitchen, they were praying the rosary at night. I used to pretend to be asleep sometimes, so I didn't have to pray the rosary. It was a really, really just town, a really beautiful town. I was 26 years when the apparitions began. They started the 18th of June, 1961. That day, four girls, Mary Gloli, Jacinta, Mary Cruz and Conchita, were playing in the town stealing some apples from a neighbor when all of a sudden they heard a thunder they lifted up their heads and they looked towards the valleys and they they can't see a storm coming or anything this is the same thing that happened at the start of the apparitions of fatima and lourdes the sound of thunder both sister lucy and saint bernadette say they heard that the girls remember they've done something bad and they think it's God speaking to them through the thunder and they suddenly one of them falls to her knees her face turns upwards to heaven and she turns white like the appearance of a waxwork figure then as one of the girls goes to get that one's mum they all fall to the ground they fall to their knees and they see the same thing that she is seeing It's an angel that they see. Although he doesn't say a word to them, he fills them with awe. And then when they leave the ecstasy, disconcerted, confused, in silence, say they decide to run to the church. And when they're going down that way, another girl asks them, hey, what have you been up to? And they answer, well, we've seen an angel. And they continue running and they, they meet their teacher and they speak to her on the way. And their teacher is so amazed, astonished. She says to them, well, let's see what happens the next two, three, two or three days. See what happens, if it happens again. It's because, you know, the, the teacher trusts her students. She knows that they're normal girls, and it's quite possible to her that it could have happened. The next day, the parish priest on Valentine interviews them one at a time, without finding any contradictions in their accounts. And that evening, they go back to the Kiecha alone, and they pray the rosary, but nothing happens, and they, they don't have any ecstasy. They go home. But that night... As each girl goes back home, each one, and is lying in their bed, they hear a voice that says to them, Don't worry, you're going to see me again. And so that's how the apparitions began in Garabandal, beginning with the apparition of an angel. You'll remember in Fatima, the apparition of the angel, at least three times, maybe four times to the children there. The apparitions of the angel occurred pretty much most of the evenings between the 18th of June and then leading up to the apparition of Our Lady on the 2nd of July. It wasn't quite every day. Sometimes the children just went to pray the rosary and he didn't appear. But quite a lot of the times he did appear. He didn't say anything until the 1st of July in which he said to them, I have come to announce to you that tomorrow you will be visited by the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. What's quite surprising is that even in this two-week period, more and more people were coming to the village. 
I understand that even before Our Lady appeared there, you had some evenings where there were maybe 11 priests there, some doctors were there, even little crowds by the end of the month of June, little crowds had gathered. And then the day that Our Lady was purported to arrive, the 2nd of July, well, there was even a film crew present. And we're talking about Spain, this rural part of Spain. In 1961, Already some of the doctors had done little medical tests on them, noticing that while they were in ecstasy, because they were entering in ecstasy when they saw the angel, they were falling to their knees, they weren't hurting their knees as they fell on the rocks, and the doctors were pinching them and they weren't reacting. All of these things that are characteristic of later on in Garabandal were occurring then. We're told, I'm quoting from Zavedra's book now, that that the children's, the phenomenon with them being really heavy during the ecstasy already began, and also the, the phenomenon of them putting their head back and looking upwards in ecstasy, that was, that accompanied them as they prayed the rosary when the angel appeared to them. So some of the things that, that are really, that really characterize Garabandal as it continues are already there in these apparitions of the angel. The angel says nothing, as I've said, until the very, uh, the day, the day before Our Lady appears, appears. Although there are some words written underneath the angel on a couple of apparitions. And I think they're written in a script that they can't understand. Our Lady will later explain to them what the script means. It is the first message of Garabandal. Okay, that's enough on how the apparitions began at Garabandal. Perhaps you hadn't thought about the apparitions of Garabandal beginning with this two-week period, uh, period of the angel visiting. One angel, they prayed the rosary, they fell into ecstasy. Usually it was short, except for the last one, the 1st of July, which was two hours, although it seemed like it was just two minutes to the girls, which is which is characteristic of ecstasies. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.